morning, so perfect day to clean. And uh, Tegan is helping by trying to use this to whip her wet. Right this way. There you go. Wash that floor, yep. young man. Get to work. Start earning your keep. <laughs> Are you starting to decorate the tree? Well, I thought I would put the uh, garland up to get that box out of the li out of the kitchen. Tree decorating time. <laughs> Ewok. Here's the before shot. Little oh. holiday puppy. Okay, so I'm doing another attempt at the chocolate nut butter cups. Um, I it says to use one tablespoon of brown rice syrup and two tablespoons of coconut cream. Well, let's just say I like I think I quadrupled that amount in order to get it to taste good enough for us to eat. Maybe we're just not at that level of no sugar sweetness in our system yet to be able to have it the way she wants it. So I had to add some extra stuff. <laughs> so we're trying it again. My current issue is that it's so thick. I have no idea how to get it into the bottom of these. So I'm gonna have to figure out something. But John wanted me to show off the Rudolphs that he put up today. He has all these Rudolph stuffed animals that he got. Where were you getting them from banks when you were a kid? No, it was CVS. Oh, CVS. Which is a pharmacy chain. And that was, the, I got those like back in like 1998, 1999. And they've been out every Christmas since. There's some Frosty the Snowman over there. The Mickey and Minnie and Donald. Tegan finally took a nap today and took, slept so long that we were able to clean the whole living room. The whole kitchen. The whole kitchen. The counter looks doesn't look any better, but that's because I'm in the middle of making the uh, the peanut butter cups. Yeah, I did all the dishes. But the dishes are done until I'm done this. <laughs> so Tegan's having his lunch. Say good morning or good afternoon. Yeah, good job. Here are here's a peanut butter cup. I'm gonna try it out and see how. It, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh my god, look at that! Oh my peanut butter's on the bottom. It's a very ugly peanut butter cup, but I'm going to try it anyway. Mmm. That's so much better. Mm-hmm. I did a lot better that time. Go me! So I am trying to make the lemon zest puppy cookies. And uh, I couldn't find my zester, so I have chunks of lemon peel in there. So I'll probably have to take that out when we're eating it. But hey, whatever. Um, I thought I was going to make a lot more dough, but like, look at my hand. It's just... It doesn't take a... Uh, they're not going to be very big cookies or I'm going to have to use smaller cookie cutters, I think. Maybe I'll use smaller cookie cutters. But anyway, this is the most crumbly dough I think I've ever worked with. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? But anyway, I'm going to try it out. You never know until it cooks, right? This looks like sand. I can't get it into cookie form. Look, it's just like crumbles. I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. This is like... Are you gonna help mama? No, don't take that, no, please. No, don't take that. I tried to make cookie shapes, as you can see, but I can't, I decapitated my angel. What? I just can't get it to stay. I don't know what to do. Tegan's excited for cookies, but they're not ready yet. <laughs> He tried to reach one and it like crumbled all up on him. He just wants to be your taste tester. And speaking of taste testing, I'm going to taste test one of Ben's revised peanut butter cups. It didn't go very well the first time, but maybe it'll be... Can you, uh... Let's see if I can peel that out. Okay, okay. I got something. I got something on my lip. They're, they're at least edible this time. <laughs> they're okay this time, honey. You know I'm gonna see that footage, right? The picture in the cookbook? <laughs> Ben's finished product. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> so, um, yeah, it looks awesome, huh? Alright, let, uh, let me be the first. Oh, they're gonna be hot. They just came out of the oven. Tegan really wants to try a cookie. They're too hot right now, buddy. 
Do you see you on there? Do you see you on the screen? Yeah. Okay, they're gonna be hot. Be careful. <laughs> I'm gonna try this little one. <laughs> if, if totally hold holding any... that up to this screen on well, the top of the camera. <laughs> if we hold anything too close to this, it never focuses. Yes. I've okay. noticed that, so we have to like keep it way back here. Anyway. It's gonna be hot. I know, Dad is teasing you with a cookie. <laughs> it's actually not bad. No? Somebody wants a cookie. They're so a little warm. Oh, oh dropped a crumb. They almost taste like you would expect a Christmas sugar cookie to. Mm. Okay, bud, here you go. Here's the moment you've been waiting for. You finally get your cookie. Tegan. I'm out of here. Try your cookie. Okay. Yeah, cookie. <laughs> it's starting to get dark out. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon and we thought since you guys have been enjoying our Christmas adventures we go on another holiday adventure tonight. We're gonna look for Christmas lights. Our final destination is a big Christmas light display. That's about a half an hour from here mm -hmm. and we're really looking forward to checking that out but this house really decorates every year. Look at this display. It's not totally dark out so it doesn't have the same oomph to it but you guys get an idea. Blue Christmas without you. That's what they were playing on the radio. <laughs> Did I sound just like it? What do you think? Nice. Should I, I record your day job. Should I record a Christmas album? No. I could do a duet with a uh, creepy twilight. What do you think? Uh, that would that would be interesting. <laughs> that would be very interesting. told me. <laughs> no one would buy that. You wouldn't even listen to that no. in the car. <laughs> no, I would not. That was about as much as I could handle. <laughs> so we found the house. <laughs> they have the Christmas Story leg lamp here on the side. Yeah. I don't know if you can really see it from this angle, but they have a singing Grinch head that lips along with the music that plays on the radio station. We turned into 107.1. Here's a closer look for you guys from the street. Tegan and I are taking a look. There's the leg lamp from the Christmas story. Oh. Yeah. Check this out. And there's a singing Grinch. I wish we could show you the music that goes along with the Grinch, but YouTube and copyrighted music don't mix. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. What do you think, buddy? You like it? What do you think, Sweepy? Okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah. I think it's going to start again shortly. I don't think I've seen the trees light up in the middle of the yard yet. Mm -mm. What's that? Whoa, check that out. I don't know what song's playing, but it looks <laughs> pretty cool. We went back into the car. It's a little chilly for little men. And we could hear the music in the car. They're playing like the Polar Express song. Yeah. So tonight, we ask you for your help. We're collecting non food items as well as three items. Liquid hand soap, office oh, yeah, supplies. Yeah. Just look for the blue donation bin. 250 strands of lights, 100 individual bulbs per strand, a grand total of 25,000 important dynamic lights. I dedicate this house oh. to the beautiful family. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Where'd they go?
I can't imagine how much effort it must take to synchronize everything yeah. to the music. That's crazy. That's a, It was really cool though. Yeah, Tegan really liked it too. They were playing Let It Go as the last song. You could probably guess it because it was saying Let It Go on mm -hmm. the house. But we cannot play Let It Go on YouTube, unfortunately. <laughs> so Ben will put in a substitute. <laughs> yeah, I put in substitute music for the whole entire light display. So we hope you guys enjoyed that light display. I don't know what we're doing next. I know we need to get a few things at the store. I don't know if you'll tag along for that. We'll see if there's anything <laughs> noteworthy. Let's see if I can capture some more Christmas lights going around the corner. These weren't lit up the other day when we drove by. Check this out, this little park here. There might be some more up here, maybe. I bet they spent a lot of money on this. Originally, you know, the gangs were putting graffiti on this wall, and then they had the kids come out and make, you know, and paint on it to keep the kid from, the older kids from graffitiing it. Oh yeah, here's some more lights. Very pretty. And now they've changed that wall into like an outdoor museum. <laughs> guys, guys, the inflatable house is lit up. Tegan is sleeping, so I'm trying to talk quiet, but. I'm gonna pull up nice and slow. Okay, yeah, pull off to the side so we can get good for you. There we go. So there's a teddy bear, Homer Simpson, and SpongeBob. I don't know who this other one is. It's blown up, but it all lit up next to SpongeBob. I can't tell. Hmm. I'm gonna move ahead a little bit. I think it's Bart on top of. Oh, it is. Presents. Yeah, you guys can't tell, but that is Bart Simpson. I bet you can't see anything at all. I can barely see him. He's behind, he's by that swirly tree and that reindeer. I don't know if you can see him. Over here we have Santa in a tree and the snowman family. And up here we have a big old polar bear. And another snowman. It's awesome that we finally drove by when they're all blown up. Yeah. And we have a tin soldier and one more snowman. Awesome. What a great way to end this vlog. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye.